Hey guys, it's Wolfblood here. Recently, the word fake news has been thrown around a lot. It seems to be the new term of the year. And it got me thinking, I'd like to talk about a specific type of fake news that is quite possibly the most harmful and quite possibly the most prevalent, but it doesn't seem to be getting very much attention. I'm talking about pseudoscience. Now, if I was to say, oh, here I have this magical crystal that uses the energy of the stars to heal the uh, makeup of your body and fix your aura, most of you would say, well, that's bullshit. Now, pseudoscience is what happens when bullshit puts on a lab coat. So it's when I say, here I have this chemical oxaboprofene, and what it does is it infiltrates your cells and it changes the gametes on their surface and then that affects the chemical balance of your hormones and that will stitch back together tissues that form your oxalocotia system and this will extend your life by 20 years if you keep rubbing it on your skin every day. See, it's the same bullshit, but it sounds sciencey and people seem to believe it constantly. You know, whenever a new science is invented, when they discovered magnetism, you had magnetic medicine. When they discovered electricity, you had electric medicine. When they discovered, you know, atomic theory, they said, well, here's atomic medicine, here's nuclear medicine. It seems to be the new thing whenever anything is discovered. I've seen a few sites now that advertise quantum medicine quantum medicine. And people buy this stuff. I'm not even joking. It's not a case of, oh, this is sold as some scam that a very small number of people fall for. No, tons of people are buying this stuff. But then you get the more common stuff, the stuff that sounds real. When people start to buy stuff, oh, here's this aloe vera oil and it will do this, that and the other. It, it's oil. It's an essential oil. It smells nice. It comes from a plant and it has very limited use. And I'd like to tell you the way to detect pseudoscience, because it's surprisingly easy. Anything that says it's a massive breakthrough or the newest thing, or, you know, the cure-all for everything, or this thing that will do some awesome thing you've always wanted to do perfectly, that's pseudoscience. Actual science, actual medicine, actual technology, they say, in five years, we might be able to do this. Then five years come, they say, in two years, we might be able to do this. Then two years come, they show you a whole bunch of papers, and they say, well, this chemical that we've been working on and, you know, gotten from this tree or whatever, uh, might slightly reduce your chances of getting cancer. It's not a cure for cancer. We don't discover that. If anyone did discover some cure or medicine that did half of the things these things that advertise they can do, it would be all over national news, you would hear it a million times, and every doctor, every scientist on the face of the earth would be losing their fucking minds. However, when you see in some comment section a link to some dodgy website that says, oh, we've discovered this new oil that will, you know, reduce this and will prevent this and will cure this, no. It doesn't work like that. That's simply not how science works. That's not how medicine works, and that's not how technology works. And I think that that's just the basic idea behind it. You can clearly tell bullshit when it's clearly bullshit. But the second anyone says, here's some scientific bullshit, everyone jumps on the bandwagon and is ready to believe it. So... I think the important thing is whenever you see somebody trying to sell you something, you should think, are they giving me this because it actually will cure me and will improve my life, or do they want money off of me? And 99% of the time, if it's too good to be true, it probably is, and they're just after your money. So don't give it to them, don't fall for it, and just spend a little bit of time researching whether this thing you've heard about is actually going to do anything. I mean, I would say check with your doctor, but quite frankly, I've known enough doctors that will prescribe this bullshit anyway. So I would say check with scientific papers, check with World Health Organization, NHS choices, anything like this should give actual scientifically backed information about whether 
whatever you're looking at is actually going to do what it says on the tin. And anything that's advertised as the miracle drug is probably not going to do anything. The only time in history, and I think people will back me up when I say this, that the miracle cure-all actually did exist was when penicillin was discovered. That was the miracle drug that was an actual miracle. But for the 200 years since, we haven't discovered something that will just magically get rid of all of your ailments. It, such a thing doesn't exist. And if such a thing did exist, it would come with side effects. So whenever you hear, no side effects involved, this does no harm, it's an all-natural treatment. Call bullshit. That's all 